Hello, hello, good people. Glad is back here again. As always, I am excited to be here. And this is OP Legacy Unveiled. And I am joined with my sister, co-host, Sister Myra Aquino. Today, our sister Mayan Asuko is away for a wedding. So Sister Mayan, we wish you all the best. Have fun. We all need that break once a while to enjoy with family and friends. So we are excited as always to be here again because we know that our mission is one. And I'm going to give a chance to my sister, Myra, to introduce herself. Sister Myra, welcome. Thank you, Sister Gladys, and, and good morning to our, our viewers. And I'm, I'm excited to be back in, in New York, but at the same time, a, a little bit nostalgic about uh, not being with my mom and, and my siblings. But anyway, it's a, it's a short trip, so I'll be back there soon. Uh, I thank everybody again for watching us. Again, my name is Myra Kino from New York City. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Myra. Always nice to have you here. And now, as we begin, we first want to acknowledge Mr. Mohammed Kamal, Engineer Mohammed Kamal, who is our COO. And we want to wish you a happy and blessed birthday. Uh, today is your birthday, so we are celebrating you. And we wish you all the best. God bless you. So as we always come here, our mission, we come to share, you know, what we think to share what we believe about the mission of Unpassive in uplifting humanity. And we come here because we are passionate about uplifting humanity. We are very positive and looking forward for the best. And looking forward to the best doesn't mean there is no trials, there is no difficult times, because those are things that happen in life. So today I'm going to say something as a contribution regarding the latest up update that we had from our CEO, brother and friend, Mr. Ash Mufare, regarding where we are. He came and gave us a very brief uh, update. And I think I know there have been people who have been asking uh, many questions. I can only refer everyone to go back. If you have not had an opportunity to listen to the message that he delivered, you are welcome to go back and get it. It's available now, I see, in several YouTube channels so that you can hear for yourself. But for me specifically, I look, he mentioned about to expect, you know, a change and uh, he is in charge and that was good for him to reassure us that he is in charge. Of course, we know that he has a team. But that reassurance is good for us because we have had a lot of hope in uplifting humanity and we have been looking forward to on passive to give us that, you know, to give us a hand in order to be able to do that. That's why as we are here right now, we are on All Connect and we have subscribed. That's the business that we say that we own as affiliates. And it's because we have hope that whatever we will get from on passive will not only enable us to live our lives, but also be able to help someone. Because Mr. Ash Mufare, as he has always said, his mission is to empower and inspire people. And OP Legacy, we stand by that because we believe if you want to do something good, it's good to find someone or some people to do it with you. And that's why we are proud and we are happy to be affiliates in this uh, movement because we are looking forward to do good around the world. Of course, beginning with our own homes. So where we are, whatever change that he said uh, may be coming is for the better. And when, he, you know, change is always a bit scary to many people because who doesn't like to, you know, to have their life the way they are used to. But sometimes change is very necessary, especially if change is for the better. And as he said, it's for the better. I think that's good. And to us, we may have heard for the first time. So I can understand why some people, you know, can question, can be a bit uh, like a surprise. 
but he said that he has been working on it. So what I pick from those words is that it's not something new. It's not something that is just going to start happening, but it's something that has been going on. But the bigger picture is that how nice will it be when I, Sister Myra, or those who will come to the movement to on Passive as a company, those who will choose to uplift to humanity, how good is it going to be when you don't have to avoid doing what you want to do because you don't have a way to do it? You know, the products are great that are in on passive, like what we have here. Just this all connective, we take it as a product in uplifting humanity, putting the business part aside. I can call, you know, like for a meeting globally. Say it's a meeting for women or it's a meeting for youth. It's a meeting for students or a meeting for teachers. I can be able to provide a platform for them to meet and have their meeting. So there are so many things that we can appreciate, not just only thinking about the money. Of course, the money part is good, but the convenience and the quality of the product, the features that this all connect has. So there are many things that I celebrate personally, and as I've had many meetings, from other affiliates, they celebrate also, and they appreciate that they have access to the passive ecosystem and the products which are there as we are speaking now. We access or connect through the passive ecosystem. So thank you so much, Sister Myra. I think I've, uh, I've shared my thoughts and I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you have to share today? Thank you, Sister Gladys. Well, I, my thoughts are, uh, always clear and, and transparent and because I'm, I have so much confidence and so much faith in, in, on this company and in, in the vision and mission of Mr. Ashman Fire. So I know, I know that, you know, sometimes, yeah, people don't like change, uh, but, you know, I accept change because without change, we cannot go forward. And if it is happen in, in a business, which are necessary for the business to grow, it's not only the, the good size all the time, it's always challenges, not only in business, but in, in life itself, right? We face challenges in our families, in, in our circles of friends, and, and so on and so forth, in our jobs, if we have them. So it, it is a normal part of life, and it's a normal part of life to have challenges in, in business. So just because things don't go the way you want them to go, doesn't mean you have to become discombobulated and think everything is falling apart. On Pasi is a standing on a rock, okay? On Pasi is a done deal. Things are cha changing because they need to change. We need to grow with, without those changes. And, and this, is so, this is all what's happening. Nothing has changed on On Pasi. On Pasi is really a solid business. It's here to stay. And it's going to provide the changes in humanity that we want to see. Changes pro humanity. Everything is going to be good because on pass is all about love and, and, and abundance and, and, you know, a lot of in the correction to the corruption. This is the bottom line. So people have no reason to discombobulate and, and, and have thoughts of, of negativity and uncertainty. Things have to happen the way they are happening now. And on passive is on the control. Mr. Ufari is, is in control of everything. You have to just have a, remain being faithful and loyal and, and, you know, with the faith that things are happening for a reason. And just be patient, like always, be patient, okay? You are not the one with the struggles. You are not the one with, with the challenges that business brings. So just be loyal and, and, and understand the, the nature of the business. On past is here to stay, to change humanity, to eradicate poverty, to bring equality in the in 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 every every business in every, in every um, how you say in every level of, of, of the business of, of the of the nature of the business, just understand that you know stay stay put, be grateful and happy. We are here to to really support our our mis, our, our vision and, and mission of, of Mr. Ashmufara, and we just have to stay put with that. 
just the loyalty and, and you know, backing up everything that Mr. Mufara does is for the good of humanity. Our life is going to change and we're going to see the changes in the world that we want to see. But we have to start with ourselves first, right? Be positive, be positive. Everything is happening. Anyway, now I want to take the chance also to, to congratulate our CEO, COO, engineer Mohammed Kamal for his birthday. May God bless you and your family and many, many, many blessings and good health. Thank you, uh, Sister Gladys, and back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Myra. Thank you for the uh, for those powerful words. And yes, you know, as you mentioned, that change change is the only constant, as, as some say. That's not my quote, but I've seen it, and I agree that even I remember Mr. Ash Mufari mentioning a few years back about change and said that the business model will change based of, on need. You know, if you have to make change to sustain the business, I think it's necessary than going just one way and not being uh, having flexibility to maintain. It's, it's difficult. Why do people pick to just go for the numbers? It's because it's easy to go just for the numbers. But when you want to do something that is uplifting humanity, thinking of the little guy, the middle guy, and the top guy, it's difficult. The, you know, these are people who have never met. That's where we have the classes, different classes of living, you know, standards of living, the wealthy, the middle class, and the poor, because it's hard to just bring them together. And we are not saying that uh, the company on Passive or Mr. Ash Mufari is going to bring everything together melted. But one thing we know is that he has provided a platform where we have all come together on the same level, at the same terms, so far. So that, that part he won in bringing people together from all different walks of life. But the question is, how do you marry these three things to be able to do something that will be good for all? That's why it's not many companies doing it because it's difficult. It's not easily doable. He has the vision. He has shared the vision with us, at least for the little that we know. And what we know, honestly, I'm happy about it. I am positive about it. And it, I just pray that everything goes well and all things to work together for good so that it doesn't matter whether you came in in 2018 or June 22. Uh, that was the last day that the late, um, the early birds came in. The playing ground is the same. The rules are the same. And if anything is going to be done, let it be done for the sustainability of the company so that we see this vision and the mission that we've been talking about for this time in the past come to pass that will be our joy and i believe that will be the joy of mr ashim Fari. that being said i'm very very thankful sister myra i don't know if you have something else to share and just to encourage people to stay positive so that we don't let's not react so much before knowing the full picture he only shared a hint of what's happening and they really I didn't know anything that is happening in the background. All that we know is what is shared to us. I don't want to get involved in the mechanics. I don't want to get involved in the marketing. I want just to know that, yes, I subscribed and the company is doing something for me. And this something is doing is going to be able to help me, help my family and enable me to uplift humanity. Thank you so much. Sister Myra, back to you. You have something else to, to say? Thank you, Sister Gladys. Yes, I love the way you, you say that, you know, on pass is, is going to do the work for you. We will only here to really be guided by the company as affiliates. We are in the best time of our lives. On pass is going to guide us and anybody that can see and understand the vision, just a little bit, because like Sister Gladys say, we don't know uh, uh, we only know 10% of what's happening behind the scene. We only know what we can understand and what is given to us. 
But one thing we know for sure is that nobody has done this in humanity. Yes, a lot of businesses, like Sister Gladys also mentioned, you know, they can put one and one together in the sense of helping humanity. But I think they do, they do have uh, that uh, perspective of helping. But do they want to really help? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think I ever experienced this in, in my lifetime. And I think this is the only time I had to see, I get to see what a man with a vision is trying to do. And it, it's just amazing the way he's going about it. And it's called, of course, it's going to be a lot of struggles because nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see the world really doing good. People have been only pro greedy about businesses in general. What's there for me? They might have a little bit of helping, but that helping is, is not really with a good intention. If, it would, if that would have been the case, I think the world would have been a different place. I'm sorry, but I think the intention of Mr. Ash Mufara is real, is genuine, and it's, it's really, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen no matter what. No matter, the, no matter the struggle, no matter how much people are going to fight him because what he's trying to do, he's going to succeed because it is meant to be. It, it's time for humanity to be lifted the right way. It's enough abundance in this planet. It's enough of everything for everybody to live in, in peace and in providing to the family with, with the abundance that already exists on the planet without being hell you know grab by only a few a few people in the world there is no justice on that and Ompas is trying to bring justice to that to the to the war by giving everybody the same chance to bring to the households the food the the the, the necessary you know needs that one need to survive so uh, i cannot elevate no more Mr. Ash Mufara for that vision because he's already elevator. God, God is here with, with us in general and it's going to happen. So people, please stay put, be patient, be loyal and understand that it's not about you or me per se. It's about humanity in general. Mm -hmm. Okay? This had to happen. It's going to happen. We have to be patient because Things don't happen from from you go from the time you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and it's a done thing. No, it's a lot of work to be put, a lot of a lot of struggles to overcome, and we all gonna be able to do it with with unity, in unity, with love, with understanding, you know, in peace. There is no need, no reason to doubt and to to fight and to judge and criticize and. And he or she, it's, it's no reason for none of that nonsense. It's time to, to bring up our conscious, you know, our consciousness and understand that we are here with a mission to, to uplift humanity in a good way. It's not, like I say, about you and me. It's about humanity. Do you work and do, 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 do diligence. It's about being a better person, being who you are, being, being good at what you do and understand that it's enough love and enough love and enough abundance. Let's get together. Let's let do this together and support our C, our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, in, in his mission and his vision, which is going to elevate us all as you know, us as a whole. Just just be nice, for God's sake, you know. Just be nice and understand that. And I, I just wanted to also mention that I love on passing family. I love the leaders that are aligning with this vision and bringing to us every single day their life and, and they, they post and, and everything to also, you know, align to the to the vision of Mr. Raj Bufara. Thank you to, to uh, uh, Mr. Mari De Camo, the Chris Johnson, the Mike Ellis, the Michael, Mike, Michael Williams. The, it's just so many people to mention that are doing the right thing for the right reasons, with the right intentions to uplift humanity as well. And I just wanted to, to say thank you for them and, and for the guidance as well and the support every single day for many years. Thank you, mm -hmm. Sister Gladys, for, for your humbleness as well. And this is what Mr. Ash Mufara wants. He wants everybody to be humble, humble. Okay, without the, the ego thing, the great thing, the greedy thing that, that brings some humans to think that that's the way. Uh, uh, just 
walk for the, in, in the right path, okay? Forget the greed, the greed part of, of the thinking about the, the money all the time, which money comes and goes just the same way we are going to go one day. Just leave, let's leave the legacy, the right legacy to our children and to our families. And forget the greed, forget the judgment, and forget the, the, the feeling of superiority. There is not such a thing. Not such a thing as superiority. Just make a make a uh, Mr. Ash Mufara the, the role model of that. He's mm -hmm. the most humble guy we ever met. And uh, just stay put, stay put, and, and be confident that things are going to happen the right way, and be true to yourself. And thank you everybody for for supporting us and, and on this episode again of OP Legacy on Bill. We missed this Semillion today. Next week we all going to be together hopefully again and going to bring another guest to, to to our little and humble show thank you sister gladys for, for um, having me thank you for what sister myra as always and i cannot repeat those words enough they are clear but you know you said about mr ash mufari as a role model and yes to the leaders that especially you mentioned i know there are many leaders out there that uh you know, the, them, the commitments that they have shown throughout uh, the years are uh, bringing the updates every day and bringing them with humility. Humility is key. And, uh, you know, Mr. Ash Mufar has always hated that competition for the team. You know, the people are team oriented. Uh, people want the numbers people who will do everything, working on people. He hates all that. And it's not the right thing to do even before the eyes of God. It's not good, especially for those people. You know, there are people who can even lie to make other people to look bad, you know, just because they want to be seen as good. It's not right. Uh, Self-promotion, uh, trying to intimidate other people, uh, denying them a platform to speak. All those things don't really matter. That's not what matters. It's about love. It's about the truthfulness. And those are the things that Mr. Ash has shown. It's about honesty, integrity. And that's why, you know, we support this movement. If we knew that there's something that is, you know, it's not that, it's not embracing that, and then we have nothing to do with it. That's why if something is not aligning with the vision of uplifting others of you know highlighting others more than yourself of helping others where you can have nothing to do with it and i think uh, mr ash mufare has shown us a very good example of who he is and let's emulate that and that brings me i was able to join uh Mighty Life today, and I found uh, Robin was speaking, and she outlined those qualities clearly well. And I will encourage anybody who missed it to go to the, the, today's live with Mighty Chris and the entire panel that was there. And I haven't listened from the beginning to know uh, what 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 was said, but I believe it's powerful words because you shared with me, Sister Myra. <laughs> But I heard what Robin said, and I really encourage everybody to go and listen. Yeah, life is not about competition. It's not about running and stepping on one another. We can all hold each other's hands and work, to work together as one family, and we can arrive where we want with the joy, with the gratitude, with the love. And that's what Unpassive is. And we can uplift humanity together. Anything that is not of that anything that is not embracing those good qualities just drop it you know if it's a if it's a group and you feel it's not embracing that just walk off because you are not a prisoner to bad character you are not a prisoner to do to doing bad things no be you as you said sister myra yes be you if you are somewhere and you feel you are uncomfortable what's happening is eating at you it's eating at your good qualities and impeding bad qualities you are free to walk off I, be, I strongly believe so you know be aware you can be you know you can grow always those people around you can clearly say who you are so you have a choice we have a choice as human beings 
to choose who do you we want to associate ourselves with who do we want to associate ourselves with so i'm gonna leave it at that thank you so much sister myra i'm gonna have to put and listen again twice but i think we can all learn from each other i appreciate you i appreciate sister mayan we missed us you see we did not laugh a lot today <laughs> because Sister Mayan was not here. So we look forward to see you again. Uh, today, uh, if we don't make it to stream on time, we're gonna stream it later, but the recording will be available on YouTube. And you are welcome again every Saturday to join us. Thank you, Sister Myra. And welcome back to New York, by the way. You look different in New York than you look in the other side. It's nice always having you. Thank you so much to our viewers. Uh, share, subscribe, comment something. If you have anything to comment, we appreciate to read your comments and we appreciate your support every day. God bless you all. Bye-bye.